Wow, it's a beautiful day. So today is uh, August 24th. It's Wednesday, 2016. I am currently in Stony Creek, Brantford, Connecticut, along the shoreline here in southern New England. And, ooh, gosh, it's so nice when I go through the shade like that. <laughs> Uh, we've had some remarkably beautiful weather here the last few days. Uh, a break from uh, very hot and humid weather that uh, we've been uh, dealing with the last, well, God, it seems like forever, three or four weeks anyway. Uh, of course, we're no different than the rest of the country. It's been very hot and humid uh, everywhere along the, the uh, eastern part of the United States this year. But we've had, um, we had three days in a row, this is the third day, where overnight temps were in the low 60s, maybe very upper 50s. And uh, the humidity level has dropped down to almost nothing. It's been very dry. So consequently, it's been fabulous weather to get out on the bike. So yeah, we, uh, we've had some beautiful weather here. It's, uh, it's the end of August here in Southern Connecticut. It's funny, I mentioned, uh, I mentioned yesterday in my uh, Strava post that I was trying to decide whether or not should I take a bike ride or should I cut my grass? Well, I opted for doing both, but I ended up doing the bike ride before cutting the grass. But uh, I got a comment from this woman up in Toronto who said, forget the grass, winter's almost here. I said, you gotta be kidding me. It's freaking August. How can you be even using the word winter? Of course, then again, it's Toronto, I don't know. Maybe their season starts a hell of a lot sooner than ours, but Jesus. Anyway, I thought that was funny. Of course, coming up on the end of uh, August, obviously we're running into September pretty close, pretty soon. Kids back in school and all that kind of thing. But uh, what comes to my mind, and maybe it's because that's when I started really riding the road bike, September is a gorgeous month to be on a bike. September and October. And I've mentioned many times before that I basically do ride as much as I can all year long. Last winter here in Southern Connecticut, no problem riding all winter long. We had virtually uh, no snow and the snow we had was cleared off fairly quickly so the roads were clear but uh, September is an absolutely stunning month to be out on a bike and I think a lot of events road biking events road bike races and charity things of that nature seem to take place in September Here in Connecticut, we have something called uh, Closer to Free. Uh, it's a charity ride for, to raise funds for uh, cancer victims. Or, or cancer research probably is more correct. I don't know if I've mentioned that uh, that race or that ride before in other videos but last year when I was just getting into road biking I was aware of the event because it's kind of a big deal here in southern Connecticut or in the New Haven area specifically so I thought this year you know I'd love to get involved in that I'd love to sign up for it uh, get a chance to meet other riders meet other cyclists maybe even get a part be get to become a part of a group somewhere uh, haven't been able to 
find a group of people to ride with myself could be the timing that the time of uh, week that I ride or other people may not have the same schedule I do anyway the point being is you know I thought getting involved in that event would be uh, great for social interaction and making connections with other people so I checked out their website and I expected an entry fee you know because it is a charitable event and they are trying to raise money so I was all set to pony up and spend a few bucks and probably sign up for uh, I would think a 60 mile ride You know, they have uh, 25, 30, 50, 60, 100 mile rides, 100 mile routes that you can sign up for. But I thought, eh, why overdo it? 60 would be more than enough. Plus the fact, a lot of the roads that I uh, have been riding or experiencing around my hometown are among the routes that uh, they're going to be riding. So anyway, like I said, I checked out the website for registration and uh, so they want a hundred bucks out of you to register to sign up for this event. And I thought, oh, okay, that's a little pricey but goes toward a good event why not well shit that's not it I mean that's not all of it they not only want you to come up with a hundred bucks but they want you to go out and solicit another five hundred dollars and bring to the table essentially six hundred dollars to ride in this uh, this event uh, so I got kind of mixed feelings on this I mean in this day and age to go out and try to solicit from other people money for a charity when in fact you know who the hell knows who you are who's going to give you money for something like that uh, I mean, I wouldn't. Someone were to give me a phone call or knock on my door and say, hey, I'm your neighbor and uh, who I maybe never met before. I'm riding in a race. I need another $500 to be able to ride a race. How about making a donation? I don't know. It seems kind of like a lot to put on someone who's willing to make the event something special by riding in it to begin with and becoming uh, one of a number of riders who make the event something uh, no, uh, newsworthy and also to pony up a hundred bucks but then you're asking that person to go out and raise another 500 bucks for your charity I don't know so anyway long story short I'm not gonna ride in these this charity event and uh, I guess I'll look for some other way to spend my time on the road which I'm a little disappointed in because it really seemed like a huge group of people are going to be riding maybe about 2,000 and uh, it would be nice to be part of that but the cost is way too high. 